Wednesday is a big and important day that we need to watch closely as there will be some very big announcements that are going to impact everyone, especially the low income and fixed income beneficiaries of Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, and RRB. I have all the details for you and everything you need to know right here in this video. Let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, I want to take just a minute here and discuss that last video from a few hours ago where we were talking about a fourth stimulus check and if it can come this summer. Now in that video we were talking about factual evidence and factual pieces of information that have been released and talked about by lawmakers as well as pegging all of that to a timeline over the next couple months here. So I did see a lot of really really nice comments down below in the comments section. Many of you were reaching out saying thank you so much. I really appreciate you laying all this out for us and letting us know where we currently stand on this. Like I said in the video it's all touch and go right now. Seriously, there are so many weird things going on right now. There's a lot of different discussions. There's a lot of things that are being explored by different lawmakers. There's a lot of different pieces of legislation. There's a lot of proposals. There's a lot of ideas. There's a lot of different things circling around out there. At any given point, anything could possibly happen, especially with all the stuff going on here in this country, as well as globally right now. Honestly, anything could happen. But I did want to lay all that information out for you in that video and let you know where we currently stand based on what some of you have been asking down in the comments section. So again, thanks so much for all the nice comments. I really do appreciate it. If you have not seen that video, make sure to go back and check out that one just from a few hours ago earlier today. Now again, as I do get more information, of course, my commitment is to be here for you and laying it all out in these short videos every single day as there's new information literally hitting the wire every single day. So again, thanks so much. Let's jump into this video and talk about Wednesday and why we need to watch this day very, very closely and the big announcements we can anticipate that day and how it's going to impact literally everybody, especially the low income and fixed income. However, really quickly, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below the video. As I said, I am very much dedicated and committed to being here for you every single day, doing all the research, breaking it down as your one and only daily advocate, helping you out in any way that I possibly can. There's a lot going on right now. Things are changing very rapidly. I want to make sure that you get the latest updates and stay in tune with everything going on as things are changing so incredibly fast. So again, if you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Totally free to do so and feel free to go back and check out some of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Of course, after you get done watching this one. All right, so thanks again. Let's jump right into this. All right, so... This week, there actually are a few very big announcements. In fact, the next video that I'm going to have out a little bit later are going to be coming out of some announcements right out of the administration, specifically focused on the low income. Yeah, they have some announcements specifically focused on the low income that will be coming out here very soon. And uh, I want to highlight those in the next video a little bit later. However, in this one, I do want to talk about the announcement for Wednesday. This is something we've got to watch very, very closely. Now, at the end of the day, is it the best announcement in the world? Well, not really. It is an announcement that comes out regularly, and I want to let you know what it actually means because this will impact all of us. All of us, every single person in this country, this will impact, especially the low income and the fixed income. Therefore, we got to watch it closely because I do know that a lot of you here in the community are low income or fixed income beneficiaries. Therefore, I want to do whatever I can to make sure that we're watching all of the relevant pieces of information. All right, so early on Wednesday morning, we will be receiving the latest CPI data, Consumer Price Index uh, data that will be released for last month. Now, this is actually the reading on inflation. Remember, about a month ago, actually is a little less than a month ago um, as of right now, but about a month ago, we got the last reading. It came in at 8.5%. It was up 1.2% month over month. That is a huge, huge increase in inflation. Now, this next report, based on the, the different ranges that I've been seeing come in, are anywhere between about 8.9% and 9.3%, based on who you ask, which reports you read, and which articles are out there right now. But that is where economists and analysts are currently saying right now. Like I said, the range 8.9% to 9.3% based on what we're going to see early on Wednesday morning. That uh, report will be released at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. Of course, I'll be watching it as it is released in real time. And of course, I'll bring you those updates on Wednesday. But here's what this is um, related to and why this is so incredibly important. 
It's inflation. It means where, are, where did prices go last month alone? This is going to be a reading on last month's inflation. So it's going to give us a reading as to where prices went last month, how much they're up uh, month over month. And they're also going to tell us how much it's up year over year. So we're dealing with the historic inflation right now. Of course, this is not all time high inflation, but it is inflation that we have not seen since the early 80s. 1981 was the last time that we've been dealing with inflation this high. 41 years Years ago was the last time that inflation was this high. So you can see here, this is, um, some people would call it generational uh, inflation. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. 40 years, you could probably say that's probably generational, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So we've got to watch this closely. And like I said, it will impact everybody because honestly, as prices continue to rise on everything out there, we know that literally every single person here in the United States uh, pretty much all around the entire world, but we're focused here on the United States. But everybody here is paying more for literally everything right now. In fact, I just saw another report that just came out um, today, this morning, that said the new national average of one gallon of gas right now is $4.38 a gallon. Now, that's just one report I saw. So, I didn't realize it was that high. Last numbers I saw late last week were right around the $4.20 range. So, did it really go up another 18 cents over the weekend? I'm not really sure about that, but this report just said that we are at $4.38 a gallon right now, regardless of how you cut it, whether it's $4.20 or whether it's $4.38, it's still very, very expensive. We're over a dollar higher today than where we were last year at this exact same time. And we're actually just about to get into the summer driving season where a lot of people go out on road trips, you know, driving across the country, going to state parks, going out on camping trips, whatever people do in the summer, right? A lot of people are out uh, driving a little bit more, pretty much going forward this time of year and basically through early September is kind of when they identify the driving season, which ultimately just means more demand, driving prices even higher on gas. Well, if that happens, we also know how that translates into the price of the products that we buy on our store shelves because, those products need to get there somehow. And, um, you know, these semis, these trucks that deliver the stuff run on diesel. Diesel is hitting practically all time highs right now. You know, five, uh, almost $6 a gallon, over $6 a gallon, depending on where you're um, located around the country. And all of that translates into the products and the goods that we buy on our store shelves. Whether it's, it doesn't matter, groceries, it could be clothing, literally anything that's on our store shelves that we need to buy, it's all brought there by semis that run on diesel fuel, right? So anyway, we've talked about that in other videos, so we don't need to go down that path again in this one. But the fact of the matter is the inflation data will be released on Wednesday morning, and this is going to be a big one. Now, of course, this um, does not necessarily pertain to what the cost of living adjustment is going to be for next year in 2023, but we're getting pretty close here. We're, pra we're practically knocking on the door of the three months that we need to watch closely, July, August, and September, which will actually indicate how much the COLA raise will be for 2023, okay? So the numbers that we're getting now are still kind of leading up to that, but we're not that far out, right? We're only a couple months out from where we start gathering those data points for the three months that are very um, important when it comes to calculating the cost of living adjustment for next year, which impacts about 70 plus million beneficiaries of all those benefits I mentioned at the beginning of the video, right? So again, it's all very important. It all pertains to us because every single one of us whether you're living on a fixed income, whether you're low income, whether you're retired, whether you're whatever your situation is, you're paying more these days for everything that you're buying, right? Unless you find the rare deal where something is a little bit cheaper these days, but if you find a deal, let me know. I, I'm not sure where you're shopping, but where we go, which is nowhere fancy, just the same old grocery stores, the same old stores that everybody else goes to, everything is significantly higher, right? Doesn't matter what it is, everything is higher, right? So anyway, this is what we have to watch for Wednesday, and that announcement will be coming out. And again, it will be impacting everybody, and we got to watch this stuff closely because we need to see, is inflation starting to slow? Is it starting to peak out? Is it starting to stall a little bit? Or is it just continuing to rage on as if it's completely uninterrupted by all of these interest rate hikes out of the Federal Reserve? 
Well, I guess we'll know on Wednesday, right? So anyway, got to watch this stuff closely. All of it, we have to watch it. Anyway, this is the update that I have for you as of right now. Of course, I'll be back a little bit later laying out these announcements that are coming out of the ad uh, administration. They'll be specifically focused on the low income. There are some announcements out there and um, they're going to be doing some different things here. So I'll keep you posted and um, I'll bring that to you in that next video a little bit later. Anyway, enjoy your day. This is what I have for you. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends family social media and go back and check out any of the other nearly 2,500 videos right here on the channel. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Enjoy your day and I'll catch you again later in the next video.